Good evening, guys. Good evening. Roly Poly and I are gonna walk over here and sit down by the geese. We've been doing our chores and we just finished some. We thought we'd sit down and talk to everybody for a few minutes. There's Roly Poly. Pat and Larry are in their house because they don't, they're not behaving very well. They're not going up like they're supposed to. But I thought that since I wasn't in a rush, had a few minutes, just got done mowing, so I look crazy like this. <laughs> but I thought I'd sit down and talk to you guys about what our me, Tim, and Delane, what our um, passion is about the Agricultural Learning Center and talk about some animals. And my mom made me aware today that we've got new viewers, so people might not know why I talk funny sometimes, but for those who don't know, I had West Nile in 2017, <clears throat> and um, you get that from a mosquito bite. And so, um, it caused my brain to squell. So, if I get really hot or if I get tired, then um, sometimes I talk funny. Like, I, say, I can't say quimus. Um, there's a few other words that I can't say right. But, um, I'm just glad I'm doing a lot better. And, um, I'm glad that I'm able to take care of Jackson again and take care of baby pigs and all that good stuff. And there's Screech over there trying to find his way in. And it won't take him but just a minute and he'll be over here with us. But I just got done mowing um, the property next door and the front part of the property that we lease. And so I come to sit in the shade for a minute. But um, so Delane, Tim and I started the Agricultural Learning Center in... Um, we started the idea in 2019, but in 2018, I was asked to um, bring some pigs to the fair to have babies. And the first pig that we brought was Squeakers, and um, she had babies on a Wednesday at the 2018 fair. And so it started our live feed on the Edwards Feeds Facebook page, and um, Delane's son used to raise hogs, and I have had a I have purchased a boar from him before and uh, so Delane happened to be at the fair too and so she um, got tossed a baby pig and she started helping us and Delane's passion is horses um, her mom passed away a few years ago and being part of this project keeps her mom close and so um, as you can tell, the little pigs like the, the dirt and the mud. We'll follow them around for a minute. But back to Delane. Um, horses are Delane's passion, and uh, they, they help keep her mom's memory alive. And so that's how Delane got <laughs> involved in this project. I tossed her a pig and was like, here we go. And uh, so then in 2019, she brought horses to the fair, and I brought my pigs, and uh, as my husband says, Delane, Tim, and I are kind of the three amigos, and uh, so that's me and Delane, and then Tim, Tim, um, of course, owns Edwards Feeds, and so he's been around animals all his life, and uh, he is very um, passionate about animals. Um, he likes to take care of them. He makes feed for them. And uh, he's raised cattle and hogs. And their family started out in the chicken business. And in the 30s, his mom, grandma, excuse me, started the business. Um, and it was called Edwards Hatchery then, not Edwards Feeds. But then in the early 80s, it turns to Edwards Feeds. And he also likes to share his story of being um, clean and sober for around 30 years so you'll get to hear him tell his story so that's a little bit of our background 
we just all like animals and we like to share what we have with everybody and we hope you guys enjoy what little bit of knowledge we give you guys and stuff and if you guys ever have any questions just let us know me and Delaney are the ones that check the messages on the agricultural learning center page so we'll be more than happy to talk to anybody but um if you guys have any questions now, I'll be more than happy to answer them. If you guys want to talk about pigs or talk about Pat and Larry. Pat and Larry uh, stayed out yesterday for the first day, all day and all night. Which uh, I wasn't too fond of, but I couldn't get them back in their pen. I'll go in with them here in just a second. I'm going to walk with these guys around the, the pen here. I have found that Screech likes tall grass, and uh, he likes to lay down in it, and Roly Poly just likes to play in everything, but these are, oh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about these turkeys. Let me walk around here to the, to the front side. So these are, some people call them chicken tractors. These are our portable coops. We keep meat birds in them, or meat turkeys. These are our meat turkeys. Let me go in this pen here real quick. Hopefully I don't get locked in. Hopefully the pigs don't lock me in. The other night I did get locked in. Let's see here. You see how this little hen is panting? So the only way that chickens stay cool is panting. They don't sweat. They're just like pigs. Pigs don't sweat. The way that the pigs stay cool is rolling around in the mud. That everybody thinks pigs are dirty but pigs are actually one of the cleanest animals ever but these turkeys they I just filled up their water this water right here it's a three gallon water they've got fresh water they have food they have grass we just moved the chicken tractors earlier but if you see them all they're all panting because it's hot it's uh, I think it's close to 100 degrees here today um, there is a nice breeze coming through tonight, but these guys are uh, white, broad-breasted turkeys. They are a meat form of turkey, of a turkey. So, and all everything that's over here is a hen. I'll show you a tom over here if I don't knock myself out getting out of the pen. And please ask questions if you guys want to. Oh. Larry's not happy. I'm not going that direction. But we'll go to them here in a minute. So here's this pen. So these guys have a little bit different water. This is a five gallon water. And I just filled it too. You see they have plenty of water. And there's a tom right there. The rest are hens. There are one tom and seven hens in here. They just got food a little bit ago. And they have their grass. The tom sees the pig, so he's he's getting a little he's he's fluffed up, protecting his hens. So that's what a tom looks like. He's a big boy. We weighed. Um, I have a hen in here that has a broken wing, and I'm trying to find her. Which one it is? She she is that one right there. And we weighed her earlier, and she weighs over 20 pounds. So, I can only imagine how much this Tom weighs. But he's all uh, fluffed up and he's guarding his hens. We'll go out. There's Rolly Pulley and Screech again. There's my garden hose. Let's go back over here. We'll go sit with Pat and Larry for a minute. So Pat and Larry are African Greys, and this is the pen I got locked into the other night. There's Larry. And they have fresh water, but their water gets dirty because of the geese. The geese, if you guys can hear me over Pat, that... The geese like to dig holes. Yes, ma'am. You talking? You telling them about it, huh? Yes. Yes. Oh, goodness. 
There's Larry. As you can tell, his head is a little bit different. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. She's not happy with me, I guess. I know. I know. <laughs> um, as I was saying, I'll show you in a minute, but they... They dig holes. There's none in here yet because we just moved the the pins over here. But then there's a... there's new geese right there. Those are Toulouse. Yes, Larry. Yes, baby. What you gonna call? And then those are cream lay bar hens. But since they're being so loud, I'm gonna step out because you guys can't hear me talking. And there's Pat and Larry's pool for when they come out. But this hole over here that uh, Screech and Rolly Pooley have dug, um, that originally was a hole that Larry dug. So Larry likes to dig holes with his beak and get in the water. But now the pigs have found themselves a little spot to roll around in. So they're happy and dirty and uh, so the geese is being loud kind of sidetracked me but hey Kathleen <laughs> well Pat and Larry I've been handling them since they're little so they are nice to me um, one of my husband's helpers uh, Larry ran him out of here but nobody else thought that was funny um, but these guys, they've been really good. They let you know when people are here and, um, I've never had geese before. I've had ducks tons of times, but I, this is the first time I have, have had geese and I'm excited to learn what the Toulouse do and how they act. I'm not, I'm trying not to get as bonded with them because I want them to go to the pond and, uh, protect my pond. But I hope everybody enjoys um, our live feeds and being a part of our crazy world. Um, there's we're, nothing is planned or predicted. It all happens on a whim. But I just wanted to share the afternoon with you guys and let you guys see everything. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Please share the Agricultural Learning Center. Tell your friends. We're going to start um, Monday. I believe it's going to be 18 days till the fair, Monday. Oh, my internet went out there for a minute. But on the, uh, I'm going to repeat myself because I don't know how much everybody heard. But um, on Monday, I believe there's going to be 18 days till the fair. So we'll start showing t-shirts and all that stuff. Um, we'll start going over different things um, in the fair catalog and just reminding everybody to come visit us and see us at the Wilson County Fair, Tennessee State Fair, August 12th through the 21st. You can go back and watch videos of us on the Agricultural Learning Center. Well, I went out again. I guess I'm getting too far away but uh we've got the the youtube channel the birthing barn we've got um the birthingbarn.org steven has done a great job on moving stuff over to the youtube channel um videos if anybody didn't see the chicken coop contest go back and watch it it was a lot of fun and i have to say that's the first time i've ever got a pie in the face but i had a blast um, I'm glad my dad got to come, and uh, I'm glad Delane won. I'm glad she called in a friend. So next time we do an event, I'm going to call in a friend. She just doesn't know that yet, so don't tell her. But we appreciate your guys' support, and uh, send me messages, and I'll talk to you guys later. Love you all. Have a good night.